Slovenija od prca še za kakšnega begunca iz Severne Afrike. After the success with spam sonets, I found another interesting language of our time. It is the language of journalists, of media, especially on the internet news portals. The titles of news are very, very specific. The titles are designed to gather readers' attention and curiosity. News portals usually have those RSS feeds which make it possible to receive their news on our devices. It's also possible to use their news on our website. So I created an application which was taking the titles of the news from different sources on the internet and again, like in the case of Spamsonets, created a new kind of poetry. This time it was called the News Sonnet. News Sonnets were special because it was a poetry which, which was about this moment, about what is happening in this moment. It is completely different from the poetry as we usually know it where the poet creates the eternal messages about life, about human nature, etc., etc. The project was possible with the technologies of the time. Later on, the technologies and the legislation went too complicated to maintain this project alive. So I printed new sonnets my books. They are also part of some e-literature databases, but they are not working alive on the internet anymore. The titles of those news are trying to be aggressive, they are trying to attack us. So the news sonnets are also attacking the reader. If the user goes with the mouse over a certain verse, over a certain line, it magnifies over the whole screen, like jumping on the user. So new sonnets are also presenting the speed of our time, how everything is so fast and maybe they are the first poetry which is happening in the real time. Bo Grčija zapustila Evro v moče. Države za en dan pozabljene, Evropa praznuje svoj dan. Nemška poslanka prepisovala pri doktoratu in odstopila. Kje smo? Kje smo? Kje smo, stari? Dodi? Kje smo? Vorni referendum zamenjal za pogajanja z Evropsko unijo. V Brusljo dokončno prižgali zeleno luč po moči portugarski. Bo Hrvaška, polnopravna članica unije postala 1. julija 2013.